Hey there my dudes, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to chapter 20 of this Ghost of a Tale Let's Play series. So, many things happened last time, including us ending up looking like a king and meeting a magpie who is now sending us on a mission deep into the underground areas of the catacombs. What will we find down there? You're going to find out in a moment, but we inch ever closer to the end of this amazing game. If you enjoy this episode, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a like. Leave your comments down below too, and subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so. Check out my description box where you'll find a whole bunch of links and ways in which you can support the channel and myself. Uh, there's also my Twitch link there and my Twitter link, along with some other bits. Let's get underway, shall we? No hanging about then, we're going to get on. So, what are we going to find? Right, how do I, do I just jump onto this? Oh, ah, after all that. Yeah, I'm wondering what... Because we haven't been down into the lower part of the, of the catacombs, so... Hmm, more spiders, probably. Aha, there we go. The eerie flame is quite cool to the touch. Okay, what have we got? A drawbridge? Oh dear, I hear them already. Yep, there's one down there. What was that? There's two down there. Okay, so there's two at the very bottom that I can see. Several doors down there. And we've got like a drawbridge over here. So stick. There we go. Right. So it begins. Journey into darkness. <laughs> Down into the unknown. Now, hmm, I wonder, is it possible to... Yeah, I bet it's not. Oh, there are traps down there, but there's only... Is there only one? Just wondering if it's possible to, like, throw a bomb down there ahead of time, you know? I bet I can't. I mean, I probably could, but I don't know whether it'd actually do anything, you know? Oh, right, okay. Well, let's put the bombs on. There we go, and let's go. Down the ladder we go. Although, I just thought, should I be in the king's outfit for this? Probably not. Let's change my clothes quickly. Uh, let's put the armor on. Because it gives us protection, you know? Bit more protection than most of the stuff that we own. Oh, I don't like the stupid noise they make. Right, that's the central room. Okay. Save first. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Hmm, I wonder. If I get in the barrel, will it lose interest in me in the same way that the guards do? That's the only way I can go, anyway, is through this way. Wait, what? Hmm. 
Okay, so there's some kind of barrier around the doorway. So I actually have to go in the room. That's really annoying. Ah! Stay still. <laughs> this is good, isn't it? Good start. Oh, banner lever. Hmm. The banner is hooked onto the cauldron of the dying light. Hmm. Oh, they've all got something different on them. Alright, um... Go away! There's one there as well. That's not good. Die. Ah, good! It set the other one on fire! Ha 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 ha! You idiot! Go on, set him back on fire again. Oh, that would have been so funny if that had, like, finished them off. Right, there we go. I have two bombs left and one spider, but who knows how many in the other parts of this place. If there are other parts of this place, it might just be this room, but there are a bunch of doors. Right, let me have a look while I've got a minute now. That's a magpie, isn't it? Do I have to do all of these or just one of them? Retrieve a banner adorned with the image of a... Ah, right, yeah, no, no, it's just the one with the magpie on. It's that one. That's the only one. And it looks like there's a magpie and... Is that a mouse? Is it crying? Looks like it's got a saddle on it. And then there's people with spears. Like, are they rats underneath or something? So you've got another one that's got other birds on. This one has got... That might be a rat up there. Same with that one over there. So let's bring this one back down. Or across, even. Yeah, that one's just got the glean... The glean? <laughs> the glean flame. The green flame on it. So, um... Oh, yeah, there is a door. So this is the magpie one, right? Okay. Uh, now what? <sighs> Right, you, I'm going to get you to chase me into the trap. Ha ha ha! Oh, I just got a trophy called Arachnophobia. I wonder if that's like... It can't be to kill a... Because we already killed a spider with the trap. Hmm. Not sure then what that was for. But... Oh! Remains! Oh! <gasps> that's the third guard! And that we completed this quest as well. Excellent. Right. Where... Oh. Yeah. More bombs. Restocks what we had. Um. Hello? Doesn't actually do anything going out any of these doors. So I guess, I suppose, maybe it is a way of getting away. Like, you lead them out, perhaps. You, like, get them to chase you and then close the doors so they get trapped outside or something. Perhaps. Just a thought, you know, that's what it could be. Something like that. Um... 
Well, that's that's it then. We've we've done what we had to do. We seem to have got rid of all the spiders that were down here. We found the guard's remains. And we've got the banner for... I was going to call it a crow then for a minute for the magpie. So let's head back up. I thought there was going to be a lot more to it than that, but clearly not. It's a long old ladder though, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, uh, yep, yeah, that's, that's it, there's, can't do anything with this, no, we just go, and it just goes back up on its own and brings the banner with us, excellent. Aye, this is the one I was searching for. Oh, thank goodness for that. But this magpie, what is she doing? The magpie, is she wearing a saddle? She seems to be weeping. Let's go with that one. A saddle? A saddle for whom? There was a banner beside this of a noble rat. I see. The magpie snatches up the banner in her claws. Oh, hmm. Tell no one of this, Mouse. Okay. I've done everything you've asked of me. You have indeed. Now, Mouse, you may ask one question of me, and one only. That one. Straight away. Where, where is she? Where's Mera? Who? Mera, my wife. My wife, the dancer, Mera. Dancer? You don't want to ask me anything else? Perhaps about the uprising in the north? Um. Oh, you know, we've heard about Great Burham before and about the trouble that was going on there. Um, you mean Great Burham? I already know about that. You do? Perhaps I could tell you of how the stars were sewn into heaven's tapestry, or reveal the mysteries of what lies beyond. The heavens? No thank you. I want to know only what I asked you. No good. I can give you the secret to making gold from lead, or tell you the final words of King Rodgar. Tell me about Mera. Very well. Then I must consult with Mygla. Ravik closes her eyes and stretches out her wings to their fullest extent. There is a moment, almost an eternity of absolute silence, and then the magpie speaks, her voice so clear that it seems to you as if it is the only sound that has ever existed. Oh, I'm kind of nervous to press continue. You must journey to the Isle of Periclave. What you seek is waiting for you there. Ah! Periclave is the subject of a myriad of epic poems and songs, painting for us an evocative, if often contradictory, picture of the Lost Tower. Some say it rose from the centre of a vast plain, a bridge between the earth and the heavens, while others describe Periclave as an island pierced by a black shard at the centre of a great lake. But most historians tend to agree Periclave was once a place of learning and discovery for all enlightened creatures, greater even than the library at Keem, and the final rallying point for the armies of the living in the War of the Green Flame. As its true nature has long eluded scholars of all disciplines, some have theorised Periclave is merely a fantasy, an amalgamation of various enclaves that played a part in the war. Regardless, the Tower of Periclave casts a long shadow over us still. Very interesting. You're not lying to me, are you, miss? Periclave? Mara's ship was lost in the cloak of Periclave. Is there truly a... So there truly is a lost island of Periclave. Periclave, I've heard it only spoken of in legend. Right, that one. Lost? It's exactly where it's always been. And it is real, I promise you. 
I was born there, atop the ruins of the Great Tower. Then I must go to Periclave. It must be a dangerous place if the stories are true. Dangerous? It's as quiet as the grave. But the journey there will be a different tale altogether. Uh, Periclave in legend. Only one contemporary account of Periclave exists, given by the boat swain of a small fishing trawler, lost in a storm and found adrift six months later, raving about an island both of great beauty and abject horror. A citadel dominated by a dark tower and populated by the dead. Oh my god. The ship's surgeon who examined him declared him madder than a Saltaran ferret, forced as he had been to drink the brackish waters of Lake Valia in order to survive his ordeal. He recovered in time, but never recanted his testimony. Though his body had returned, it seemed his mind still dwelled on that island he claimed to have found. One night he stole a skiff and disappeared back into the fog that hangs over Valia at dawn, never to return. and a chart to navigate the currents. I'll need luck just to find the charts. Currents? You can't carry me there. I better not ask that one. <laughs> Funny. No, thank you. They upset my stomach. At the bottom of this cliff, on a desolate shore, you'll find a rowboat about your size. Hey, I found that rowboat before. Uh, what about the charts? I cannot help you find your way. Discover from Carol the way to Periclave. Okay. I know only the currents of the sky above. The lake is the domain of pirates and frogs. Bailey and frogs. We know about them. Uh, and perhaps pirate frogs? I've seen more than a few. Will we meet again? You owe me a fine tale of adventure. One day, I shall come to collect it. I will tell you one more secret. You're a brave mouse, Tillo the Minstrel. I'm almost glad I didn't eat you. Farewell! With a beat of her wings, the magpie is gone. Well, there we go. So, we're, um... We're getting out of this place and going to Periclave to find Mera. Wow, okay. Um. Do, does she really stay gone forever, though? Is it one of those things, like, I'll find it. If I leave and come back, she'll be here or something. What if I save? Will that do something? I've just gone around in a big circle as well. Yeah, maybe I have to leave the area. I might check that in a bit. I'd be interested to see if I could ask any more questions. Well then, I mean, that was, yeah, interesting stuff. So, um, 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 um. Wait, what clothes have we got that I haven't looked at? Oh, the king's stockings. Oh, I never looked at them. Strange. The stockings have remained perfectly preserved in the catacombs. Yes, very strange. Um, discover from Carol the way to Periclave. Still haven't found all these things. Still have flowers to find as well. And I need to report to the commander. Okay, so... What I'll do then is I'll cut here. And when I'm back... I'll be at the commander, and we will tell him what befell of the guards. So I'll see you in a moment. Let's report the news to the commander then. Scow, I have news that may be of interest to you. The signal guard, Silas Wagstaff, has been arrested, charged with, and convicted of the jailer's murder. No, wait, what? Silas didn't kill the... Wait. No, 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 no. <gasps> He's to be hanged at the rise of the next blood moon. But no, you can't do that. Um, what evidence is there against Silas? Enough to have him hanged. There's no doubt he's guilty, sir. 
In my mind, none whatsoever. In Dunlan Heights, justice moves swiftly, Scow. Where is he being held? In the jail, down in cell seven. Oh, I wonder if it's that one that's been empty. Oh, no, wait, that's my old cell. No, uh, I can't ask that question because he'll go, what do you mean your, your old cell? I'd like to question the prison, prisoner further, sir. As you like. Okay, I can get him out. Uh, the rest of the squad, they're dead. I have their obols. May I see them? Kith, Beldrum, Scarf. I appreciate you bringing this to me, Scow. It's a pity you couldn't help them more. Now, it seems your assignments are complete. Well done, Scow. Well done indeed. Short in stature, but not in courage. Private Scow, you have served the Red Poor in Dunland Heights with distinction. I hereby bestow upon you the rank of sergeant with all the privileges and duties that entails. Congratulations! Wow, I made sergeant. Is there anything I can do for you? No, no. Next time, yeah. Um, so now I'm a sergeant. What does that mean? Can, can I do anything special now I'm a sergeant? <laughs> It, it didn't give me anything, so... Hmm. Right, we need to go and... We need to go down to the prison. We can't have our friend being hung. Not after everything he's done for us. Although, I know what we should do as well, while we've got a second. Let's see what happens when we go and see the blacksmith dressed as a king. Well, don't you look fine. If the mice ev are ever in need of a king, they could do worse than ask you. Ah, Thanks, mate. Uh, the gallows, what's going on? The jailer's been found murdered at the bottom of the well. The signal rat, your friend Silas, they say he's responsible. They took him a few nights ago. Reckon he'll swing for it. S Silas, I should speak with him. What evidence do they have? Enough to hang him. Silas is to be hanged? When? Before the next blood moon. He's being held down in the jail. Alright, was there something else? Um... No. Hmm... Quickly! To the, to the jail. Wait, I'm a recruit, but he said I was a... I'd gone up a rank, so why haven't I got, like, a new piece of kit? <laughs> hmm, never mind. Alright, back to our old cell, then. Hear that? I thought he was going to be playing an instrument. He must just be whistling. Chilo, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my cell? I could ask you the same. I couldn't have no... I couldn't leave knowing you were in this place. I heard your melody. I didn't know you could whistle. It's hardly something I'd boast about to a minstrel. The jailer is dead. I've been found guilty of his murder. The commander has sentenced me to hang. Um, they're building gallows in the car. I didn't even notice they were building gallows. Silas, I was I was the one who found the jailer's body. I spoke with a magpie, Silas. I know how to find Mera. Um, let's go with the evidence first. They say they have a witness, and it was my dagger found stuck in his back. 
I was also in his debt from too many games of chance. He was motive enough for the commander. Hmm, someone set him up. The night the jailer disappeared, where were you? In my cot, far as I remember with my scaps in a bottle for company. Um... No, don't ask him that question. He didn't. Silas, I was the one who found the jailer's body. Ah, of course Yao were. Strange how my problems always seem to start with Yao. Hey, come on now. Um, I'm going to get you out of here. Just go on, Tilo. Forget about me. Perhaps this is something I deserve. No, no you don't. Why? Because of what your father did? Aww. How's he coming together? They're making good progress. I've not really had a good look. Yeah, I didn't. Well, keep an eye on it for me. Make sure the structure's good and sturdy. Somebody could get hurt. Dude. Um, I spoke with a magpie, Silas, and I how to find Mera. Oh, that's wonderful, Tilo. I'm so happy for Yao. Truly, I am. Perhaps at least Yao Tail sports a happy ending. Um, gather your things, Til Silas. It's time to go. Yao think getting out of here is going to be that simple. Would you rather I hide a key under some bread? Ha <laughs> ha! Yao cheeky scrunt. Let's say Yao did get me out of this cell. Then what? Are we just going to... Stroll out through the main gates. What about the harbour? We could leave that way. If you're innocent, I'll prove it, I swear. What about Gusto and Fatal? They'd know what to do. Something like that. Uh, I think Yao put too much faith in them, Mouse. Um, what about the harbour? Tilo, I'm a member of the Rat Guard. How far do Yao think they'd let me get? If you're innocent, I'll prove it. Commander Stubborn, Tilo. He'll not see reason. The jailer himself could rise from the grave to accuse his murderer, and the commander would still have me hanged. It seems the noose is the only way out for me. There's a boat down on the shore. Meet me there. Come with me. If you'll not come with me now, at least take the key. Don't you dare give up, Silas. You place the cell key on the bunk beside your friend. Yao, don't remember when we first met, do Yao? Atop the watchtower, of course. That wasn't the first time. Wait, what? Yeah, I know the start of it better than I do. The checkpoint on the turn road at night. Turn? I met Mera in Hamel, not far from there. Tilo, please. Just listen. The checkpoint on the turn road. Two mice without proper papers and a sick pup in their handcarts. Dying of a spider boy for the want of a physician's care at the mine a few miles on. Bryn, my son. I was the sergeant on duty that night. I stay silent. What happened? It was my fault, Hilo. They said they couldn't find you. No, the two guards, they could have let us pass. I thought perhaps I knew you, but I wasn't sure. But then it was you who took Bryn on to the physician. You tried to save him. I oh, once I knew what was happening. But the road was so dark and the snow so heavy, I lost my way. What happened to you after that? We didn't see you again. The garrison commander had me put in the stockade for the night for deserting my post. I didn't know what happened to you or son until the next day. Why were you arrested? You were trying to help. There was a tribunal held. I was demoted. What? Would you rather have... they rather have you did nothing? Tilo, the night Bryn died, I was soused. Why are you telling me this? Silas, it's alright. Soused? Why didn't you tell me before? You have the key. What you want to do with it is up to you. Ooh, that's a bit harsh, that one. So, Yao understand the sort of rat I am. I wanted Yao to know before Yao decide what to do next. Besides, 
Haven't there been enough secrets? Why didn't you tell me before? I meant to, but the time was never right. When I saw Yao name on the transfer list, I thought it was fate. A chance to make things right. Right? I don't think things will ever be right. So, everything we went through, Mera and I. I know. Go, Chilo. Do what you must. Find Mera. Find what happiness you can. Oh, man. But you did try and help. Drunk or not, you tried. There's nothing more to be said, Mouse. Oh, don't give up, Silas. Please don't let yourself be hung. Oh, right. It hasn't given us a quest for this or anything, though. There's got to be a way to prevent this from happening. Um, oh, frog. Talk to you while I'm here as well. Mousy, did you hear it? Did you hear that damn racket? It's been going on for days on and off. There, no. There, that damn whistling. Do you hear it? Is there? I can't tell anymore. Now listen, I need you to go and strangle whatever scrunt's responsible for it. <laughs> the whistling, I, I took care of it. Oh, there we go. That's that then. <laughs> All right. Well, good. Now, Mousy, what are you doing back here? Please, I need a plot. I need to plot a course for Periclave. They're building gallows in the courtyard. Where is your captain now? I should go. Farewell. Gallows one first. So, there are going to be an hanging, eh? Well, no strangling, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> okay. Please, I need to plot a co course for Periclave. Periclave? I was told a frog might know the way. Only one, Mousy. Only one. But I swore a blood oath as a pirate to never speak of it again. We was three days out of Scarn when the late witch was attacked for no reason at all by the Marsh Herald. Which we'd robbed a few weeks earlier. <laughs> no reason at all. <laughs> Aye, she was the flagship of the Red Paws fleet, and the finest vessel to ever come out of Baldorn. That's the Badgers, isn't it? Yep. Oh, she was, Jarl. Twas a battle for the ages. We took heavy damage, but the late was too afraid of the captain to dare sink us. Outgunned, but not outwitted, we sought refuge in the Cloak of Periclave. Um... So, several leagues offshore, a permanent fog hangs over much of Lake Valia. Sailors have named this fog the Cloak of Periclave, for it's said to enshroud the mythical land, island, sorry, of the same name. While most of Valia's ships are shore runners operating within the relative safety of the lake's shallows, larger trading ships led by experienced captains and a Valian frog for a pilot will venture further into the fog. These merchant routes have been travelled for centuries, their currents and hazards thoroughly charted. Even so, the crew must maintain a constant state of vigilance for visibility within the cloak is no more than a few feet. Then there are the pirate galleons that seemingly sail the cloak with impunity. Well, I mean, pirates like things like that, don't they? But with our main sail and tatters and our rudder smashed, we was easy prey for the serpent. Wait, what? The serpent? Aye, a serpent, the whip, mother's tail, currents, mousy, currents in the waters of the lake. The whip will take a ship clear from one side of the cloak to the other. Mother's tail will always see home, but the serpent, well, get caught by the serpent and you'll be crushed. With the wheel as his weapon, the captain fought the serpent and won. The late witch gave the serpent the slip and found a hidden current that took us away deeper into the grey of the cloak. We was lost in that grey for days, it seemed. And then we saw it. A black tower rising from the lake like a spear piercing its heart and beneath it. Got that already. The island of Periclave. 
We thought it was our salvation, but it was only horror we found. Oh, such horror! And that's all I gotta say about that. I've no love for ye, Mousy, but I beg you, leave Paraclet be. It was never meant to be found. That island is cursed, and all who set foot there damned. Hmm. So you won't help me? Never! I swore I'd take that secret to my grave. Captain's the only other living soul that knows the way, and he and he would need my charts. I give him to the captain himself and none other. So unless you're Captain Powder Keg of the Lake Witch and I can see you're not, I suggest you forget all about the Isle of Paraclave. You won't change your mind about the charts for Paraclave. Uh, where is your captain now? Right through there in the cell next door. Wait, uh, what a character. Talking to him is the only thing that's kept me sane. But he's dead. <laughs> ah. Um, you won't change your mind about the charts? Pa, never. They're for Captain Powder Keg's eyes only. And you don't look much like the captain of me. I'm not going to give him the news because... I'm going to go and find the pirate, uh, the bit of the pirate outfit we're missing. So I need to s the sash and the belt. And then he'll think we're powder keg and then he'll give us what we need. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, it is indeed. In the next thrilling installment. So, wow. Okay, so we found all the missing guards. God rest their souls. Um, we found the banner for the magpie. That was... Very interesting. Uh, Silas! <gasps> we need to help him. I hope that that gets sorted out. And now we're going to trick the frog into thinking we're a pirate captain. So we're moving very, very close to an end game now. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a like. Leave your comments down below too. And subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so. Come back next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.